Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to understand private constructor in C Sharp. This video is part of object oriented programming series. If you wish to watch related videos, please check the description. You will find playlist link. You might know that constructor is a special method that gets called when an instance of a class is created. We have already discussed default constructor and parameterized constructor. Today we are going to discuss private constructor. Private constructor is a constructor that is declared with private access modifier. Private constructor restricts object creation from outside the class. Look at this student class. This class has three properties, name, age and grade and it has multiple constructors. One is parameterless constructor and the second one is parameterized constructor. We have discussed these two in our previous sessions. If you are interested, please check the description. You can find the playlist link and you can watch all the related videos. With these constructors, we can easily create instances of student class. I will add one more class. I will add subject class. I will add the properties, name and description. Look at this class. This class has private setters for name and description properties. This makes them writable only from within the class. Now I will add private constructor to this class. To add private constructor to your class, use a private access modifier, then name of the class. This is the private constructor. This constructor can take parameters. I will take string name. Please note, if you do not use access modifier with the constructor, it will still be private by default, but we have to specify the access modifier for more clarity. Then we can map the parameters like this. This class has only private constructor. This constructor is inaccessible from outside the class. Look at this program class. Here we have main method and we are easily creating instances of student class. This student class has parameterless constructor as well as parameterized constructor. But this subject class has only one constructor that is private constructor. If I try to create instance of this subject class, subject, I'll say subject one. If I try to create instance using new keyword, I get error. This says subject does not contain a constructor that takes zero arguments. If I pass name, still we get error. This says this, this is inaccessible due to its protection level. Very important thing that we should understand is if a class has one or more private constructors and no public constructors, other classes cannot create instances of this class. If we cannot create instance of that class, then what is the need to have that private constructor or what is the purpose of having the private constructor? Private constructors are often used for various purposes such as preventing instantiation of a class, enforcing a singleton pattern, controlling the creation of instances through specific methods which is nothing but factory method pattern. In this session, I'm not going to discuss singleton design pattern or factory method design pattern. I'll cover them in separate series. But in this session, I'll show you how we can create instance of this subject class You're writing a static method. Now I'll write a static method. Access modifier is going to be public. We have to use static keyword. Then it, this method is going to return subject. This is the class subject class. The return type is going to be subject and this create student method will take a parameter that is string name. This method will call this private constructor. Now we can create instance by calling this private constructor. Earlier we were trying to create new instance using new keyword but this will not work as the subject class has only one constructor that is private constructor. That is the reason we have added a method that will create instance for us. So now I'll show you how we can create instance. Instead of using new keyword, I will call create subject method. Subject which is the class name and I will call this create subject method and I will pass the name. If you are thinking can a class have both private and public constructors then yes 
a class can have both private and public constructors in that case outside class will be able to create the instance of that class because of the public constructor let's verify that i will add public constructor this is the public constructor and this is the private constructor i will save this if i come to this program class see now i can uncomment this this session is here to help you grasp the idea of a private constructor. As you learn more about design patterns, it will become clearer to you. That's it for today's session. I hope this session was useful. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.